When people think of the Soviet 7.62-39 cartridge, they normally associate it with Russian guns like the SKS or the AK-47, and definitely not the Ruger American rifle. And for good reason. The Russians have churned out hundreds of millions of these rounds since the 1940s. The intermediate power 30 caliber round is incredibly popular around the globe. And despite continuing sanctions against Russia, American shooters are still enamored by the round and its most popular host rifle, the AK-47. The only problems with the AK is that not everybody likes its ergonomics or its appearance. So many companies have sought to capitalize on the inexpensive round's popularity by modifying existing designs around it. Companies like CMMG with their Mutant and even Ruger with their Mini 30. But it wasn't until a few years ago that the engineers at Ruger decided to chamber a handy little bolt-action rifle in the caliber, the Ruger American Rifle. But given the increasing number of companies churning out American-made AKs in the last few years, is there still a spot for a little bolt-action rifle? Well, let's take a closer look at the Ruger American Rifle in 7.62x39 and find out. The Ruger American Rifle is a series of bolt-action, magazine-fed rifles chambered in 5.56, 350 Legend, 300 Blackout, 450 Bushmaster, and for our review, 762 by 39 This version of the American Rifle ships with a 16.12 inch barrel with a 5 8 by 24 threaded muzzle. This means shooters can equip this rifle with whatever AR-10 or 30 caliber muzzle device they have handy. Personally, I utilized a Saker ASR flash hider to go with my Silencer Co. Saker 7.62 sound suppressor. The Ruger American Rifle stock is made from tan polymer which free floats the barrel and keeps the entire gun very light and handy. And I hope you like tan because aside from a handful of distributor exclusives, that's the only color available. The good news is that if you want something very specialized or different, companies like Boyd's do make incredible stocks for the gun. Now heading back to the receiver, the Ruger features an integral Picatinny rail on top for mounting optics, and in testing, optics designed specifically for the AR-15 are somewhat uncomfortable when mounted on the Ruger, since they sit just a little bit too high, and thus using them necessitates obtaining a chin weld as opposed to a cheek weld, which really complicates obtaining a proper sight picture. I found that a compact LPVO like a Vortex Viper 1-4x24 coupled with a low pair of rings like my Night Force 30mm rings makes for a really handy natural pointing firearm. And the 4 power scope may seem a little odd to some shooters, but it's the perfect combination of light reception and situational awareness for a light and handy bush gun like the American Rifle. The 7.62x39 version of the Ruger American Rifle feeds from Ruger Mini 30 magazines and ships with a single 5 round example in the box. Now this might seem a little limited to shooters like myself, who normally enjoy more tactical weaponry, but the Ruger is meant for hunting more than anything else. So the limited capacity 5 round magazine makes a lot of sense, because it ensures that it is legal to use this gun anywhere that hunting with a centerfire rifle is also legal. And since the magazines were originally designed for a Mini 30, the Ruger American Rifle uses the same paddle release as the original host gun. For testing, I ran the included magazine as well as a Friends 20 round Mini 30 mag, and both function flawlessly. I mean, it's a bolt action rifle, what do you expect? On a side note, shooting a bolt action rifle with a 20 round magazine is incredibly fun, as it feels like you're gonna almost never run out of ammo. Makes me wonder how fast the, uh, the Brits could have ran the Mad Minute with the 20 round mag in the Lee Enfield. Now continuing backward, the tan polymer stock is topped with a rubberized butt pad that reduces felt recoil, but in testing was basically completely unnecessary because the gun was extremely soft shooting. Now let's get to performance. I've had this little Ruger in my possession for a few months, and in that time I have managed to fire around 500 rounds of various types of 7.62-39 ammunition through it. And in all that time, the only issues I've ever had were when the shooter would short stroke the bolt. This seemed to occur more often on a fully loaded 20 round magazine because of the increased pressure on the bottom of the bolt. But still, it was user error and not something mechanical. One thing I should probably mention is, if you intend to use a sound suppressor on the Ruger American Rifle, doing so will drastically shift your point of impact. So before you go out to the bush, make sure you zero the rifle with your sound suppressor attached. Lastly, despite the fact that it did in fact change the point of impact, it had no effect on accuracy whatsoever. And speaking of accuracy, the little Ruger really impressed me with its ability to squeeze every ounce of performance from a caliber normally associated with poor precision. When fired from a rest at 100 yards, the Ruger American Rifle produced groups as small as 1.3 inches with Hornady's SST rounds, while less expensive Wolf steel cased ammo still hovered around 2.5 inches. Either way, steel gongs out to 300 yards were laughably easy to hit, provided that a shooter knew their dope and fired either from a rest or with the aid of a good bipod. And yes, do know your dope. 
76239 has the ballistics of a thrown brick. It drops very, very quickly and becomes transonic very, very quickly as well. So hitting something anywhere beyond about 700 meters is going to be as much luck as it is science. So what's my verdict? Well, the Ruger American Rifle in 7.6239 retails for $659. While its price point would have made the gun a hard pass for many shooters during the days of $299 Segas, the Ruger now represents an inexpensive, ultra-reliable, accurate, lightweight option for hunters and plinkers alike. And with proper ammunition, the 7.6239 cartridge packs similar energy to a lower-end 3030 30 round, making it a very appropriate caliber for hunting whitetail deer within 150 yards. I personally believe that the Ruger American Rifle is a great option for both shooters in search of a centerfire rifle that is inexpensive to shoot, and those already heavily invested in 76239 who want something different than their AKs to shoot on occasion. I'm very happy with the gun overall, and the only thing I would really change about it would be to allow it to use AK magazines, but given that I own about 50 of these mags, I may in fact just be a little bit biased. Thanks guys. For Amaland TV, I'm Jim Grant. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I will catch you guys on the flip side.